The towers of a suspension bridge are 800 feet apart and rise 160 feet above the road. The cables that run between the tops of the towers on each side have the shape of a parabola. And the cables just touch the road midway between the towers. What is the height of the cable 100 feet away from one of the towers? Well, I'm imagining, you know, a bridge with a road in the middle and that I'd have four towers, right? A pair on each side of the road and then between those, cables suspending the roadway. And apparently those cables are in the shape of a parabola. So if we just looked at one side of the road, I'd see the road and then my two towers and then the parabolic cable that hits the road right in the middle on the way out. I know that I got 800 feet between the two towers and that they are 160 feet tall and that that's the middle. Fortunately, if I'm thinking about a parabola, right, that being the middle and having symmetry on both sides, that has to be the vertex. So I think the most natural thing to do is to think about an x-axis on the road and then this y-axis perpendicular to it, letting the vertex be at the origin, allowing us to think about this parabola as an x squared equals 4p y. The question is, 100 feet from one of the towers, how tall is the cable? All right, so that's 100 feet there, just this little distance between the tower and that point. And I could think about it asking the same question over here, but I'm going to get the same height because, well, there's my axis of symmetry. All right, well, using the given information, I can identify this point as being 400 units over, right, half of the total distance and 160 feet up. That has to be the point 400 comma 160. Because I have an x and a y, I can find p. 400 squared equals 4 times p times y. So let's see, I have to have 400 squared, which would be 16 followed by four zeros. 160,000 is equal to 640 times p. Dividing both sides by 640 is going to show me that p is equal to 250, so 160,000 divided by 640, p is 250. And very technically that would be in feet because p is a distance between a vertex and a focus, but for this particular problem we don't actually need to find the focus. So let's see, this is x squared equals 4 times that 250, so 1000 y. All right, well, if I knew an x value, I could find a y value, and that's really what I'm after, right? If I knew this particular x value, I could find the height of that cable, the associated y value. Well, this total distance over is 400. The point here is 100 units away from the tower, so that has to be x equals 300. All right, I got square 300. That would be a 9 followed by four zeros, so 90,000. Dividing by 1,000 tells me that y is equal to 90 feet. The height of the cable. One hundred feet from a tower is 90 feet. Well, that could be an important calculation. Maybe I need to run a cable between the big cable here and the roadbed to provide some tension, some support for that roadway. That's it for now.